Today in Flash, we are going to be looking at creating a custom cursor for your document. This can be good for games or websites where you want to stylize the cursor past the default appearance. First create a new ActionScript 3.0 document. Now we need to import an image to the stage. Go up to File, down to Import, and then Import to Stage. After that, find and select your file, and then press Open. Make sure that your image is a PNG so that it contains transparency. After that, select your image and press F8. Then select Movie Clip from the dropdown, give it a name of New Cursor, and then click OK. After that, give the Movie Clip an instance name of New Cursor. Then double click into your cursor and line up the tip of the cursor with the small plus symbol. Make sure and zoom in so that you can get it as exact as possible. This will set the point on your image where you want the point of your mouse to be. After you are done, go back to the main scene by clicking on Scene 1 in the top left navigation. Then click on the first frame of your document and open your Actions window. The first thing we need to do is hide the regular mouse. To do this, type mouse with a capital M dot hide open close parenthesis semicolon. Then we need to define the new cursor. Hit enter a few times and type new cursor, which was the instance name of our new cursor, and then dot start drag with a capital D, open parenthesis, true, close parenthesis, semicolon. This line of code assigns our new cursor to the mouse when we begin to drag. Now we can go up to control, then test movie, and then test, and you can now see that our mouse is replaced with our custom image. If we move to the top or bottom of the screen, you can now see that our mouse is lined up with the tip as it should be. Keep in mind that you can do this with text or other objects as well. So as always, if you enjoyed this Flash tutorial, be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and share it with your friends.